Hey YouTube, Wheelchair21 here, and this is the second WWE Elite Collection Review. This is Series 17, World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus, who is spotting his attire worn at WrestleMania 28 this year. And comes with his necklace and the championship belt. On the back, in the rest of this wave, is Kelly Kelly, her final figure before leaving WWE, which wouldn't be released until after she left the WWE. John Cena and Rise Above the Hate, Kofi Kingston, Zack Ryder with internet title, and for the first time ever, Mankind. Along with that, it lists Seamus' stuff like his nickname, the Celtic Warrior, his height, which is six foot four inches, his pounds, Two hundred two. Oh, now I'm speaking like Seamus. Two hundred and sixty-seven pounds. World heavy WWE champion, world heavyweight champion, United States champion, at 2010 King of the Ring, 2012 Royal Rumble winner. Signature moves: the High Cross, the Bro Kick, and the Irish Curse. And gives a little story about his rise to fame and his beating of Daniel Bryan in under 18 seconds. Well, at least 18 seconds. Anyways, let's get right into this packaging. Alright, here's our figure out on display, and I just gotta get him out of that damn plastic. I'll be back. Alright, and we're back with World Heavyweight Championship Sheamus. Well, Championship Edition Sheamus from Series 17 of the Elite Collection. Well, as you can see, the necklace is removable, and from the packaging, you can put on the, cha the championship as it has the old actual... WCW toy line of Toy Biz, where it actually has the peg system, rather than WWE's old sliding system that they used to have, like a clip, and you slide it in with grooves. I actually like this version of how the belts are held on better with these little rubbery ple pegs and such into these rubbery holes. I like it. I like the whole fact that the WWE, this WWE World Heavyweight Championship is engraved. I just wish it was a little bit of the chrome plastic, but I think the reason they're not using it and using an actual... Um, gold paint plasticky piece is because those used to crack and flake over time and I mean me and now it's harder to see the embroidering of what is that world heavyweight championship and all the other cool details on this thing unless you hold it in certain ways of light or HD cameras and such but overall still a nice belt over a nice design like I said his uh, tights and attire are based on his Wrestlemania 28 win uh, his basic points of articulation is this thigh joint the hip joint, where it's a ball joint, ball joint hip, double jointed knees, uh, boot joint right here on the foot, and an actual weird kind of ankle joint. Along with that, you have the waist joint above the tights, the ab joint, which actually can bend back a lot more than Undertaker's, your shoulder joint, your bicep joint, your elbow, your wrist, the actual flux, fluxing of a wrist, and the spinning of the wrist, 360. His head can move and spin side to side. Well, it can actually go all the way around, but, you know, human articulation is not like that because our skeletal structure. And it's easy to, unlike Undertaker, where he can't really get his leg all the way up, Sheamus actually can for his brogue kick, his finishing maneuver. Uh, Seamus can actually hook on the Celtic cross with his posability, of art with his articulation, and a lot of other other moves that he can with this actual new loose but yet quite spiffy and tight jointed system. You can actually put any figure you want into any position you want them to be in practically for um, play, for to toys and such like, since these are children's toys. Either you can have them posing, still frame... Or if a kid just smashing them around until they break. Overall, I love the figure. I put it on display in my room with him either kicking like someone in the face, probably like an old WWE superstar who's been fired from the Jack Pacific line, stuff like that. I just like uh, messing around with these ones in a blue moon because I mean, hell, you just start watching it and you got nothing else better to do. If you can't hit your best friend, why not just take it out on a toy? Anyways, this has been Wheelchair 21. This has been my second review of Mattel's WWE Elite Collection. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you at least a little bit of a rough example of what these Elite Mattel figures can do with their posability and articulation. 
I'll improve over time since I've only gotten a few to start with. And go check me out. You can find me on Twitter. You can follow me on well, you can follow me on Twitter. You can't really find me on Facebook, but you can find me as Toku Anime News on Facebook, where you can follow the podcast there. You can find us on our own blog spot. You can find us on Twitter. We're also in affiliation with Rajo Nihon soon. And, well, actually, we're already in affiliation with them since we're working together on Hirotaku, which you can follow on Facebook, Twitter, and check out its channel, or website, or whatever you want to call it. Check out Rajo Nihon, more from Bracers, ASP, Toku Talk, whatever, the whole stuff. Or, um, along with that, like I said, please um, comment, like, favorite, share, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And I've been Wiltshire Tone 1. I hope you enjoy everything I had to show you. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.